been asked by a viewer how I made this uh, little form tool which I used on one of my um, steam engine operations so I've agreed to do a little video um, purely because of the fact um, that I've been asked and secondly I've also got to make a little trepanning tool for a job I've got to do um, so we'll just have a, a quick look at the, uh, the form tool first and then I'm going to show you how I do the uh, trepanning tool. Right, the form tool, I just uh, mark up the end, blew up the end. And just scribe a line down the centre. In this case it's a three millimeter radius tool. This is just to get me started. Um, I use the uh, little three millimeter radius gauge there to scratch it on. Right that gets me somewhere That gets me somewhere where I need to be, so I can then go over to the grinder and grind that down. So I'll show you that stage next. Alright, so this little corner here is what I've got to grind out of the tool. This little fence on the grinder it's actually set to about 12 degrees. I've got a little pot of water here to cool the tool. When the tool gets too hot to touch, I just dunk it. Right, um, as you can see, I've uh, ground the uh, corner down, just on the corner of the uh, grinder. I've got a little bit of relief on the right hand edge and also on the top, um, I've raked it back. It's more or less to the line at the moment. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it over to the mill, uh, put a little 6mm um, cutter in the mill and then just take the top edge off. I'm not using the, the mill cutter to cut it all of the way down. Okay, what I'm going to do is, I've got a carbide cutter in there, uh, a two flute carbide cutter, I'm just going to touch off on the edge just to sort of uh, make it a, a, just a little bit cleaner round. That's all it takes. Um, you notice I've got it in a slight angle as well, which of course I know doesn't make that now a true round, but um, it's true enough uh, for this demonstration. Now I haven't put any uh, relief on the top because it doesn't really need it. I'm just going to hone the top just to take the burrs off that the cutter just put on. And as you can see, well I hope you can see, 
just just in there you can see that little bit of shine where all it what it's done is just cleaned that edge um, you don't want to make the whole cut with a, a carbide tool because um, you're just going to chew your tools up so that, that that's how I made that particular form tool for that particular job anyway right coming up next is the tool that I'm making um, for a trepanning job which is uh, another video but I'm going to make the tool in this video right I'm not going to bore you with all of the grinding that I've done uh, on this particular tool but as you can see this this is the shape of the end of the tool and this is the part rotating in the uh, chuck so this is the cutting edge at the top so what I've got to do is shape the tool so that it doesn't drag on the radius of the circle as I'm cutting it out and similarly on this side I'll put a little bit of back relief on as well so it allows the chips to clear and, and also it allows the tool to run freely um, I've only done it this length because the amount I'm actually trepanning because the tool will be going in that way but the amount I'm actually trepanning is only about four millimeters so this tool is long enough but I want to keep as much meat in it as possible so that um, it doesn't start to chatter it's only cut in aluminium so it should be okay so the idea is that I shape the end of the tool something like uh, the pen's not going to work <laughs> there we go so I shape the tool something like this Okay, I need to take that much, well not that much actually, no. I need to just take a little bit off the edge of the corner there so that the tool then forms the shape of the radius of what you're trying to cut. I'll show you it when it's cut, when it's uh, ground down. There's, there's no point in me showing you all of the grinding because that's just boring. There we have it. Look, you can see the, the little round that I've put on it. I've also tapered it back slightly. There you can see a little round that I've put on it. There you go. Now that, that's going to follow the uh, radius of the circle. I've also put a bit of relief on this side and it also it tapers back slightly from the tip. From the tip to the back. That's the trepanning tool. If you, if you think of it as a, a parting tool, but with a, a little bit of a sort of curve on it, a parting tool with a curve on it is basically what it is. But you'll see more of this in the uh, trepanning video. It's a video I'm uh, making. It's just a little adapter to, to convert uh, a thermostat housing from 57 millimeters to 50 millimeters uh, on my narrowboat, my rusted Hornsby uh, engine that uh, I did the injectors for. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button, subscribe to get more of this sort of content, and uh, thanks for watching.